This video describes how to check for the normality of a variable using Minitab. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first is to just eyeball it using a histogram. This is not a foolproof method, but it gives us an idea of the shape of the distribution. And then I'll show you a normality test in Minitab, which will give us a better idea. We want to test for normality to ensure the reliability of our hypothesis tests. Of course, if our sample size is quite large, we know the central limit theorem tells us that our sampling distribution will be approximately normal. But if our sample size is small, we definitely want to know if we're working with something that is approximately normal. So in Minitab, we can go to Graph, Histogram, and punch in the variable or variables of interest. I've got a couple variables here that we're going to play around with. One is the socialization method, and the other is the burnout index. So when you're in Minitab, you only need to double click on your variable or variables that you want to graph, and they'll bump into the graph variables box. So I'm going to go ahead and generate a graph for both socialization method and burnout index. We can actually do that all at once. We can bump both variables in, and then just hit OK. When we hit OK, both graphs will generate. Here is the histogram of the socialization method. As you look at this graph, it clearly does not look normally distributed, so I would be fairly sure that this variable is not normal. However, we'll run the normality check on it anyway, just so I can show you what that looks like. The second graph we generated was the burnout index. Based on this histogram, the burnout index has a better chance of appearing approximately normal. Now, this graph is not very telling, but we do have a number of bars there that just show a single observation. So we're going to run the normality test just to be sure. In Minitab, to run the normality test, you go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Normality Test. We'll have to do this one at a time for each individual variable. There's no setting that allows us to do this for both variables at once. This is what the normality test dialog box looks like. You pick which variable you want to do the normality test for, double click it into the variable box where the cursor is, and you hit OK. So here's the output for the burnout index. Since this is a test, we know that there's a null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the distribution is normal. The alternative, in other words, if we're able to reject the null hypothesis, we would say the distribution is not normal. So you can see the p-value here. Since our p-value is greater than our level of significance of 5%, we would fail to reject the null. In other words, we can assume this distribution is normally distributed. We do not have enough information to say otherwise. But what about that picture for the socialization measure? Its histogram certainly did not look normally distributed. Notice its p-value. The p-value is very, very small. The output tells you that the p-value is lower than 0.005. So that certainly is less than our 0.05, our level of significance. So we can reject the null. In other words, this distribution is not normal. We would want to be sure we have a very large sample size then so that the central limit theorem applies and we can then be more comfortable with the results we get from our hypothesis tests. Thank you and see you again soon.